Derek Rash with LaserTech. Going to go over basic training with a new True Pulse I series of products True Pulse 200i and the 360i. First off, let's get familiar with the unit. On the top here, you've got your fire button and your power button, navigation buttons, menu button, and your select button. Back here, you've got your eyepiece, your focus ring, and also the battery door. On the front side, laser transmit lens, receive lens, and on the bottom is your tripod mount. Both units have the same layout. So the first thing you need to do is install the batteries. Lift up the latch, open the battery door, and inside you can see the battery orientation, the plus and the minus symbols. Take your batteries, match it up with the symbols, close the battery door, here click, the batteries are installed, now we're ready to take a measurement. The True Pulse Tuner I, when you take a measurement, you're gonna fire the laser sensor and inclinometer sensor at the same time. With the 360i, get the laser sensor, tilt sensor, and also your compass sensor to give you your azimuth. Now let's go ahead and take a basic measurement. Select the target, press and hold the fire button. Measurement will be acquired, it'll flash, and become solid. And now I'm gonna see my horizontal distance. You can use the navigation buttons to look at slope distance and vertical distance. Use the right arrow, you see your vertical distance value. Hit that right arrow again, and now you're gonna see your slope distance value. Both the True Pulse 200i and the 360i have different setting options you can choose for your different environments and also your measurement needs. One of those options is display brightness. Short press the menu button, gets you right into the different brightness levels. You wanna use the navigation buttons to see these different brightness levels. Once you see one that you like, press that select button, now you're ready to measure with that brightness level set. The unit has different targeting mode options. To get there, you short press the menu button. Then you need to short press the menu button again, and you're gonna see target and standard flashing. This is where you can use the navigation buttons to view all the different targeting modes. Once you find the targeting mode you like, you use the select button to choose that. Now let's get into the different targeting modes. The first one is standard mode, which is your first target acquisition mode. Continuous mode is when you press and hold the fire button, the measurements will update for a maximum of 10 seconds. If you release the button at any time, the last measurement will be displayed. The next one is farthest mode. In farthest mode, when you press and hold the fire button, it's always gonna show you the farthest distance measurement acquired. Next one is closest mode. Very similar to farthest mode. When you press and hold the fire button, you acquire multiple targets, and the closest distance measurement will be displayed. The final target mode is called filter. In this mode, the laser sensitivity is reduced to only detect pulses returned from a reflector. In this mode, you must use the mechanical foliage filter and attach it to the receive lens. Go ahead and press that in to the receive cavity. Now you're able to use the filter mode. Another settings option is called range gate. How to get there, short press the menu button. First, you're gonna see brightness. Short press the menu button again, goes to target. Short press the menu again, and you see gate. And this is where you can set a minimum range or a maximum range value. The minimum range is called short gate, and the maximum is called long gate. I'll go ahead and show you how to set different short gate values and long gate values. So in range gate, default is off. Now I wanna go ahead and set a short gate value. To do this, use the navigation buttons to find the short gate icon. From here, I wanna long press the select button. You'll see the default value pop up. To change that value, use the right arrow. Short press the right arrow, it's gonna change the value slowly. If you long press the navigation button, it changes those values quickly. Once you get the desired value, go ahead and press the select button. Now, if I want to use that range gate value that I just set, go ahead and press the select button again. Now you're ready to measure with that short gate value set. If I want to set a long gate value, go back into the menu, navigate to the long gate icon, long press the select button, and you're going to see the long gate default value. Use the left navigation button to change those values Again, short press, change it slowly. Long press, moves faster. Find the desired value. Short press the select button to choose that long gate value. Now, if you wanna set that and use the long gate value, go ahead and press the select button again. Now the long gate value is set and you're ready to measure. You can use both the short gate and the long gate and make a gate window. To do that, go back into the range gate menu and then use the navigation buttons until you find both Short gate and long gate icon flashing. Now all you have to do to use both those values 
you short press the select button, and you're ready to measure with that gate window that you set. Another settings option is the units of measurement. To see the different options, we're gonna do a short press the menu button. Keep short pressing the menu button until you see units. From here, I'm gonna use the navigation buttons to see all the different options. Once you find the units of measurement that you wanna use, short press the select button, and now it's set. The True Pulse 360i has an additional settings option. It's user field calibration. We've got a tilt calibration and a compass calibration. To perform a tilt calibration, short press the menu button. Keep short pressing that until you get to the display that says user calibrate with a check mark flashing. At this time, short press select button. Now it's gonna say no ink calibrate. This one would go to yes calibrate. Use the right arrow, navigation button. Now it says yes ink calibrate. From here I wanna short press the select button. What I need to do is I'm gonna calibrate in eight different positions. The first one says C1 FD. What I wanna do is place the True Pulse 360i on a flat level surface, face it forward, fire button to the back. I press the fire button once, it auto sequences to position two. What I do is rotate it forward, press the fire button, auto sequences to number three. Here, I wanna press the fire button, then move forward one more time. Wait three seconds, auto sequences to position four. At this position, I press the fire button, release, it auto sequences to position five. From here, I lay it on the right side, lens is facing forward, fire button to the right. Press and release the fire button, rotate it to position six, press and release the fire button, rotate position seven. Lens is facing forward to you, fire button still to the right, press the fire button, rotate position eight, lens is up, press the fire button. Now here I wanna take a look at it, Look through the display, it says pass. So I pass the tilt calibration. From here, I can just press the fire button and the tilt sensor has been recalibrated. The other user field calibration is for the True Pulse 360i compass. You wanna perform the compass calibration outside and away from magnetic interferences. You also wanna face approximately north. You wanna short press the menu button. And you wanna keep short pressing the menu button until you find user calibrate. From here, we want to press the select button. Now I want to use the navigation buttons until you find yes, 360 calibrate. Then we want to short press the select button and we put it in first position. Press the fire button and release and put it in position two. Press the fire button release. Rotate position three. Press and release the fire button. Put it in position four. Press and release the fire button. And we rotate it to position five, press and release the fire button. Position six, press and release the fire button. Rotate to position seven, fire button release. Position eight, press and release the fire button. Go ahead and look at the display. You should get a pass or a fail code. If you get pass, go ahead and press the fire button. And the unit has been calibrated. Here are a few tips within the settings menu. At any point, you're in the settings menu and navigate to a different option, and you press the fire button before you press the select button, it actually exits and does not save that option chosen. Another tip is if you wanna select multiple setting options, you can do that without exiting every time. What we're gonna do, short press the menu button, you got brightness, I wanna change brightness, I wanna navigate and change brightness to a different level. Now if I go ahead and short press the menu button again, it auto sequences to targeting, I can change my targeting, press the menu button. What's happening now is every time I press the menu button, it saves that last option. The final tip is about saving the settings. You wanna make sure you power down before opening the battery door. To manually power down, press and hold the navigation buttons for three seconds or let it auto shut off. Let's go over the other system settings with the True Pulse i-Series. To enter the system settings, you wanna long press the menu button. This brings up the Bluetooth options where you can turn Bluetooth off, select classic or BLE. You can use the navigation buttons and navigate to the option you wanna have set. Press the select button and Bluetooth is active. The next system option 
is called the pulse motor. To activate the pulse motor, put a long press the menu button, then press the menu button again until you see off pulse, then use the navigation as you see on, press the select button, and the pulse motor is active. The next system option is the reticle. We have four different options. You want to long press the menu button, then you want to short press until you see reticle. From here, you want to use the navigation buttons to see all the different options. You got a full reticle, you got a crosshair, you got a box, and a dot. You want to select the option, go ahead and press the select button, and that option set. To perform a factory reset and to restore the factory default settings, we're going to long press the menu button. From here, you want to short press until you see no factory. Use the navigation buttons and you see yes, factory. From here, you want to long press the select button. You're going to see a display fully illuminate for about two seconds, then shut off and come back on, and then we've restored the defaults. If you need to find the firmware code, what we'll do is long press the menu button, then short press the menu button until you see code. And that's the version number up top to the right. And this is used for service calls. To return to the measurement screen, short press the select button or the fire button and you're ready to measure. The True Pulse 200i and the 360i maintain the three point height routine. To get there, you want to use the navigation buttons until you find shot and you see the height icon. From here, we're going to take our first measurement. We're going to get the horizontal distance to the object. It auto sequences to angle one. I'm going to go aim at the base of a target. Press and hold the fire button. I get my inclination value. It auto sequences to angle two. Now I'm going to go ahead and aim to the top of the object. Press and hold the fire button. Top angle auto sequences to the height value. To capture a different height on the same object, you can repeat the routine or you press the select button It'll go back to angle two. Now I can choose a different top angle, then you get a new height measurement. So you can do multiple heights on the same target. The True Pulse 200i and 360i perform a 2D vertical missing line routine. Power the unit on, then use the navigation buttons to find shot one and the missing line icon. From here, we're we'll going to take our first measurement. Press and hold the fire button, you get your measurement, go flash, then auto sequences to shot two. Now I want to aim up to the next target, press and hold the fire button. I've got my measurement, it flashes, then it auto sequences to the result. The first result is a horizontal distance. If you want to see a vertical distance, a slope distance, go ahead and use the navigation buttons. These are all the values from shot one and shot two for the 2D missing line routine. The True Pulse 360i's 3D missing line routine as azimuth data to the results. Power the unit on. Then we use the navigation buttons until you see shot one and the missing line icon. I'm going to take my measurement, press and hold the fire button, I get the results. It auto sequences as shot two. Move over to my next target, press and hold the fire button, flashes, then it auto sequences to the result. Now this is the results from shot one to shot two. I get my horizontal distance, inclination value, and the azimuth value from shot one to shot two. If you want to reshoot shot two, Short press the select button and reshoot the second shot. The results will recalculate. If you want to start the routine over, short press the fire button and repeat the process. With the True Pulse 360i, you're able to set a magnetic declination. Versus using magnetic north, you can set for true north. To set the declination value, we're going to long press the menu button, then short press the menu button until you see declination. If a declination has already been set, you use the navigation buttons to turn it on then short press the select button. You see the north with the circle around it, and that means the declination is set. If you want to change that value, long press the select button. You're going to see a value of declination. Use the navigation buttons to find the value you want. Short press the select button, and that declination is set. Short press again, and you're ready to measure with that declination applied. That wraps up True Pulse 200i and 360i training. Please contact us if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.